Hi everybody, welcome to something we haven't done in a while. Digging in the boneyard with the Kai 44-2 height. Break 2, battle rating 2.7 for the Japanese. For those who don't remember what the boneyard is, that's where we go to Thunderskill and find a bird that has had zero flights last month in their RB and we take it out of the freaking graveyard to see. Does it deserve to rot or should it be dug up and flown again? Yes, and for those that wonder such things, 400 meter convergence and stealth, so I get the maximum number of those new HE shells. But yeah, honestly, I'm not expecting miracles. It's Japanese pop guns. But hey, that's the whole point of the boiling yard, to see if they're worth digging up or not. Hello there, Mr. Lag. Would you like to help me see if this thing is worth digging up? Let's find out. You come here. Come on, just a little more. Nope. Can't quite get the nose on. Yeah, the Kai 44s do seem to get a little bit heavier than the 43s, but on the upside, yeah, it doesn't have that practically no rudder problem that you get with the Kai 43s. And it does have those lovely butterfly flaps, as you can see. Yeah, that does help with the turn. Japanese Army did prefer agility a lot more over guns. Oh, come here. Oh, there's a crit, but I also saw a black puff. That doesn't make me feel good. You come here, black puff. Oh, there's a fire. Thank you. And oh, Lord, look at all the red things. Shame Munchkin wasn't here. This would be a prime Munchkin freaking event. Come here. And a black puff. Kaijin, come on. Nobody likes the black puffs. Black puffs just make people sad. Oh, come on. Nope. One, two, three, four. Oh, Lord. It's time to play Rodeo Clown. Nope. Excuse you. Don't want none. Thank you. Please go away now. There we go. Swing this puppy on around. See if I can get a shot on this Cobra. Oh, crap. Low bridge. Coming through. Thank you. Oh. Good grief. The pattern is full. The pattern is full. Excuse you. Come here, King Cobra. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, another damn lag. Yeah, apparently lags are not sitting in the bone yard. I figured those things would be rotten. Yeah. Early lags were not very good. Oh, and he's using stealth. That's a shocker. You don't usually see lags running stealth. Come here. Nope, not quite. Hmm. Yeah, this thing don't take image damage too well, so as soon as I deal with this, I have got to head my butt back to the base. Oh, come on, friends. Give me a hand. Good Lord, there's too many red things. Not enough blue things. Come on, can I get me... Oh! My friend got it. Well, that's okay. Ah. Uh, yeah. Sorry this match is going to be a little short, but yeah, I flew this thing out for three matches, and... This was pretty much it. The chart. Oh, are you shooting at a friendly? Oh, no, he's shooting at the AI. Yeah. Thought maybe we have to do a tilt killer there. Yeah, that wouldn't be nice. But as I was saying, yeah, flew this thing out for three matches, and this is how pretty much every match went. One big giant furball, other team evaporated in like 20 seconds, and then there you go. Yeah, the only problem I found with this bird was it's one of those where it's, can you get enough snacks in time? Because with this many greedy suckers firing, yeah. I think half the fires I ended up setting got stolen. And yeah, I always belly land these. It's so much easier. You definitely don't want to land these with the wheels because, yeah, the brakes are a little touchy like with the I-16s. Yeah, you will have a flip so easy. Yeah, not a good idea. Just belly land it. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. But yeah, this VR, lots of kill stealing, the occasional TK. Yeah. Not very nice. But oh well, what can you do? IL2. Hmm. I don't think it did VR, it'd be a Boris. More likely it's a. It's maybe a, eh, the early one with the 20 mil. Might be the 23 one that doesn't have flaps. Excuse you. No, thank you. I do not want none. Yeah, I think it's the one with the 23s but no combat flaps. So, yeah. You're in a world of trouble, buddy. That's not a good place for you to be. Oh, come on. Oh, there's a crit. And a black puff and a black puff. Uh, 
Come on, swing around for round two. Oh, oh, nope, 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 nope. I don't think you're going to be able to pull up there for me, buddy. Yeah, that's not going to work. And... Blah. Oh, he ate the dirt trying to pull it up. Yeah, you don't pull those up. So, in conclusion, eh, not a bad bird, but honestly, I'd rather fly the float zero. I can see why this one's in the boneyard. You'll get a lot of assists with it. It's good if you need to do tier early assist, you know, like the tier one task. Yeah, it works fine for that. But otherwise, yeah, just fly the float zero. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video of digging in the boneyard, and I hope to see you up there in the clouds. Have a good one, y'all.